hello and welcome to my fourth blender tutorial I'm really starting to enjoy this okay uh, today I'll be saying about faking uh, multiple frames you know baking textures and renders you know okay that's the cat running around not me okay so first uh, make something like a column you know um, something like this, yeah. Enter the edit mode, duplicate it uh, like this. You know, make your uh, own uh, thing. Atlantean structures, whatever you wish. Okay, I'd say that's about enough, right? Okay, now add a plane, scale it up. Okay, uh, go into front view, preferably orthographic view now, and do this, okay? Now, uh, go into shaded type, or press Shift Z, and move the light, okay? Um, warning, do not use that when you have many, many vertices, or your computer might as well crash, or, you know, just work improperly. Okay, step out of uh, draw type shaded, and now uh, with the Atlantean structure selected, press F, or go into UV face select mode from here. Okay. Uh, right click the edge between uh, 3d view and buttons like this and select split area now move your cursor wherever you want and go into UV image editor okay select all uh, very important press F9 or go into editing and uh, right here you have two-sided okay that's uh, for the UV to be seen on both sides copy draw mode to all you know and you shall have a, a multi UV you know wherever you look uh, you'll see the same the same UV okay uh, now into the UV editor image new and let's say 512 by 512 okay that's not a very standard uh, thing but you know pretty good now press U and you'll see unwrap cube projection everything you you might have saw until now S uh, set the the last one unwrap smart projections uh, check everything is okay although I don't don't even know how that means. Um, press OK again, and you'll see the unwrapped mesh into your UV image. You know, okay. Step out of the the UV, and now for the plane, do the same. F uh, new image. This one is going to be two hundred fifty six. Okay, it's a plane. No need to make it bigger. Okay, just be on the safe side, press unwrap. Check everything is okay. Um, and it's not, but who cares really. Okay, out of the edit mode, and uh, this is just basic. You can experience later with the radiosity, materials and stuff. Okay, now, uh, one quick render. Okay, you can you can see the shadows. Look at the time. One second point ninety two. Okay, I'm gonna make that to about point twenty five seconds. Okay. Now, uh, press Control Alt B and select full render. This might as well take a while. Might, but it didn't. Okay. 
Uh, now select the other thing, the plane, Control Alt B, full render. And uh, now going into draw type textured by pressing Alt Z, you can see the things. Okay, you can see shadows, right? Um, this one here, this one, shouldn't be this way, but it was just a test, okay? So no no harm done okay uh, now set some materials for this uh, to the plane add new text face and shadeless okay and for this uh, again text face shadeless now uh, render look at that point 29 isn't it great I mean you can do a 360 camera movement in just a few seconds bonus I will show you how to do that uh, first you center your camera we won't be needing this UV editor much longer so I will make it disappear now press space and add a Beezer circle I think it's called okay now uh, depending on which uh, way you want your camera to move let's say uh, clockwise okay you select your camera then you select the cir the circle press control p to make parent and follow path okay now press a quick playback uh, alt a and you will see it moves quite uh, faster than you thought now go into f9 or editing and down there you will see path length that is the um, how much frame it needs for the, uh, the the child to pass around the path. Let's make it 300. Okay, go into camera mode and you can see it. Go into textured mode. Okay, uh, very very quick thought. If you don't want the circle to be rendered, press M while it's selected. Uh, 2 and OK. This will move it to the second layer here. Okay, see? Second layer is not rendered for me. Okay, now uh, press Alt A. Look at that, you've got kinda real time shadows. Okay, you can put that in uh, your game if, if the character is not moving or something, you know? And now uh, let's have a quick preview. Note, I said quick, not oversampling, not not nothing, okay? Look, it's fantastic, it works brilliantly, okay? So next time you want to do, say, area lightning, you know, the one with very soft shadows, it takes a lot of time, you can uh, just bake one frame for uh, um, an object that is not moving, and you can do it like this okay so until next time uh, which will be probably tomorrow see ya